Hello Elucid Art authors and welcome to this level one video on branding your project. In this video I'm going to show you how you can create a new brand style and apply it to a project. And this is a project I've created previously and it currently has uh, one of my styles applied to it, it's my core Elucid Art style, but I want to create a slightly different look and feel for this project. So what I could do is I could start in author mode and make changes manually to each element on the page but that would obviously take a lot of time across the whole project and it would mean it's slower to update in the future. So what I'm going to instead do is go to my styles area where I can control everything globally and make sure my branding applies across every page of my project and can then be reused on different projects. So in the styles area here I will be able to see the style that's already applied to my project, which is this Elucidat style that I've created previously. And today I want to create a new style. So there's two options when creating a new style. I could either start from this style that I already have as a basis. So if I go into edit style here, you can see that within the edit panel on a style, you can duplicate the style to use that as a starting point. And that's really useful if I wanted to create a similar style using the same fonts and logos perhaps, but with maybe a different accent color or slightly different um, header color maybe. But today I want to create something quite visually different. So instead of duplicating this style, I'm going to close that and create a new style instead. So once I select this, it will bring up my styles editing panel and within this panel you can see on the left hand side you have all the fields that you can control and on the right hand side there's a preview panel that shows you um, as you make changes what effect that's having on the style. So the first thing I want to do is name my style and then I can start uploading and inputting some of the values of my brand to apply my style. So you can see here on this basic tab where you can set up all the core elements of the style, I can upload, for example, my logo, I can choose my background color, and I can choose to upload a background image if I want. I'm just going to change this um, by typing in the hex value. Um, if you have um, a brand guidelines that you're following, you should be able to copy and paste um, hex values directly in here to bring across your brand colors. Otherwise, you can either type in a new value or select using this color palette picker. So I've just applied a white background there. As I go down, you'll see there's further controls all grouped under clear headings. So here I can control my font size. And you can see as I make this change, it's applying in the preview window on the right. I can also choose fonts. Um, Elucidat has a whole range of different fonts um, using Google fonts. And you can also, in the Your Fonts area, upload your own custom font. So if you have a specific brand font that you use that isn't available within our selection, you can actually upload it to really customise it to your brand. I'm going to pick um, from our selection of title fonts now, um, give it a big bold title, and then select a, a sans serif font for my body text. And you can see again, this is instantly updating in the preview panel on the right. And then I can go through and update some of the colour values. I can choose my emphasis colour, which is the colour that's going to be used for accents throughout and then my action color. And as I scroll down the preview, you can see some of the areas where the action color is used. So on submit buttons and link buttons, for example. Make that a nice orange color. And then there's other elements as well, such as the navigation elements, so the header and footer elements. So I'm going for a very uh, bright color scheme just so you can see in the preview panel how it looks. Now that's applied all the core colours fonts across every element on the page and project, but I could take that even further using the advanced panel at the top here. So the basic tab uh, allows you to put in all the core values and that's a good place to start. But if you wanted to get um, even more specific with some of your styling controls, you could come into the advanced options area and it opens up a range of new tabs 
where you can control things on a more granular level. So this is a great place to come uh, maybe once you've set up the basic tab if you realise there's certain things that you want to change further. So for example under main navigation I could choose to change my header colour. Um, I could swap these values around so that the background of the header is blue and the text is white to make it really stand out. I can also change things like the font size in the header um, and then I can also control the footer for example. So there's loads in here and I won't go through everything all at once um, but we have for example different interaction controls in here for, to allow you to control things on a really incremental level. So it's really important to know what's available in styles and maybe familiarise yourself with the area because it will mean you can come in here and make global changes rather than making manual changes on a per page basis. Um, so really as you work with styles it's worth just exploring these tabs and working out what's there and what you might be able to change. Now that I've put in those core colours I'm going to create my style so that I can then see it on my project. So once you save, um, you come back into the editing panel um, in case you want to make further edits, but you can select the close button to close that. Elucidat will update with a preview um, shortly, so it takes a few minutes to process, but when you come back, you should be able to see a preview of your style. And then if I go to author mode, I'll be able to see the change that's occurred in my project. So here I can see the look and feel is quite different from the one I had previously with my Elucidat logo. And if I toggle between other pages, I can see how that brand applies across every interaction. So really a great way to control things globally. And as I look through, I can notice areas where I might want to customise things further. For example, I might want these um, question answer options to be a different colour. And that's all available under the advanced tabs and styles. So I can revisit the styles panel edit my style and then come back here and see that change. So we have a few top tips for you when creating a brand style. Firstly, it's important to have your brand guidelines at the ready if you have them, so you can reference the core colours and fonts and maybe copy and paste some of those values directly into the styles panel. Secondly, um, remember you can duplicate existing styles to quickly adapt for your needs. So you don't always have to start from scratch as I just did. You could then uh, duplicate existing styles and simply swap out the values you want to change. And thirdly, let your team know if you've created the style they can reuse. So styles, once created, are available across any project in the account. And that means that one person in the team can create a brand style that everyone can then use on different projects. So it's a really uh, time-saving way of applying visual styling. Thank you for watching this video. In the next video, I'm going to show you how you can edit the styling on the page, so building on what you've created in your brand style, and some use cases for doing that.